Hold it right there. Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres. Didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Pyron knows that voice. It's Ito! What are you doing here? Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage! Ha! <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but, uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. I mean, well, uh, that's what I really want to say. <laughs> but, uh, I have actually got something else going on. Oh? What's that? Ah, it's a long story. As soon as I heard about the test of courage, I got the gang together and was ready to bring everyone for the time of their lives. But, uh, it turns out the other members weren't as pumped about the event as me. Chinju Forest? We've already been there a million times. There's nothing scary about that place. That event's just a game for kids. What a waste of time. Let's play some Genius Invocation TCG. Seriously? Test of courage? Ugh, whatever. I guess if that's what the boss wants. Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not gonna put up with that. Nuh uh, not in my gang. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Dragging the gang to an event they don't wanna go to won't be the best for your reputation as a leader. Hey, this isn't about me. As leader of the Arataki gang, it's my duty to find new and tantalizing experiences for everyone. A happy gang means a happy life. Even if they can't get it through their stubborn heads now, one way or another, I'll show them how much fun a test of courage can be. Anyway, I'm no stranger to Chinju Forest. Sure, it was a little terrifying going through there, but hey, I'm used to it now. But seriously, what kind of scary pranks could those guys in the Yashiro Commission ever come up with? If they can't scare anyone, then it's not gonna be a test of courage, now is it? Not to mention, if the gang starts complaining, I won't ever be able to show my face around here. And after all that talk, it still boils down to you. Ah, well, leading a gang can be complicated, you don't understand. Anywho, I've got a plan. Since there's no way I can trust the Yashiro Commission to make a fun event, I've decided to step in and spice things up a little. Wait, you don't seriously mean that... Oh, you bet I do. Yours truly is gonna be out scaring people. <laughs> I'm taking this event to a whole nother level. But it's gonna take more than an Oni to make it happen. So I came here to recruit some help. And then I saw you come walking along. Come on, come scare people with me, please. No way! Pretty please? Forget it! Pretty, pretty please? Ah, oh, fine. But don't forget, we're here to win the test of courage and take home the grand prize. We'll help you out, just don't get in the way of our prize. Ah, <laughs> yes! You're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry, with me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece of cake. All right, those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> what a noisy guy. Hmm. But after hearing him laugh and talk, Paimon doesn't feel scared anymore. Huh. Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. If things get scary later, we can all start laughing at the top of our lungs. Hey, traveler, Paimon, enough chit chat. We're going to miss the event. Ah. Uh. I think we're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. So, how are you going to scare them, Ito? Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close, and then we'll jump out and shout together. They won't know what hit them. Huh? What are we, a bunch of kids now? Hey, don't underestimate me. It may sound simple, but I know exactly what'll scare him. 
The gang's probably moping along on their way back, saying things like, this is boring and let's go home. But it's dark and their guard is down. Now's our chance. Having the three of us suddenly come flying out of the bushes is gonna scare them real good. Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to our next ambush spot. Shh, you hear that? Someone's coming. It must be them. All right, I'll count us in. Ready? We jump on zero. Three. Two. One. Ah! Ooga booga booga! Uh huh. Wait, you're not. Wait, hold on a second. <sighs> Did you see that? They were definitely not human. So all the strange rumors about the test of courage are true. Oh, what should we do? Do you think the ghosts are coming after us? Oh, <laughs> Paimon. I didn't expect you to be such a baby. Hey, you're one to talk. You were the first to start running. Don't make fun of Paimon. Well, you sh you shouted ghost, so my instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against them. Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Which means they were afraid of us too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ah, <sighs> now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed up as ghosts to scare us. Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Huh? Now you want to go back? But, but... There's still a chance that they were real spirits, right? If we go back now, they might try to eat us. Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, right. The last mystery novel Paimon bought from Yai Publishing House had a plot just like that. During the investigation, whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. So... going with you. Don't you ever leave Paima behind! Ever! Hmm, it looked like they were running that way, but it's hard to say exactly where they went, so let's split up. But then you'll be all alone, which according to the mystery novels is super dangerous! <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. a bad feeling about this. They scared you that bad, huh? Huh, looks like they really do have an act for spooking people. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes, running off and talking to himself. Again. Oh, do we really have to go? Oh, fine. Let's go take a look then. But the second we see anything scary, we make a run for it. Got it? Well, we've already walked all the way here. Hmm. Wonder where those three went. Paimon didn't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding! Huh. Seems like they're not scary after all. Hey! Listen up, you three little wimps! Paimon can already see you guys, so just come out and show yourselves! Ah! There's 
Now in actually here, Paimon's scared again! <sighs> so it's just going to be a few more days. Just... Don't do it, Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this way, right? Uh, excuse us. Did you happen to see three rascals pass by here? Uh, let Paimon tell you what they look like. Are you... talking to me? To... someone like me? You have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately. Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever. I won't warn you again. Now, away with you! Be gone! Wake up! Hey, Traveler, wake up! Thank goodness you're okay. Before we get to that, I think someone needs your attention first. person? Okay, I see. I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. What happened? Tell me all the details. As I suspected, there appears to be something more behind this test of courage event. But let's get back to your original question. I haven't told you the reason I'm here. The truth is, I was commissioned to come here for an investigation. You were... commissioned? That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. A peculiar game on the beach? Oh, could it be the Yakitsu Yukin game that A mentioned? Huh. So you've heard of it. The game quietly appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. Apparently, it's very interesting. There was no one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. Imagine it like this. A stall suddenly appears on the street with no owner. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Could it be run by ghosts? Some tourists started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. The further that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. The Tenryo Commission wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors, but before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the Test of Courage, so visitors have gradually returned again. But I'm quite positive that the game never had anything to do with the Yashiro Commission. Wait, so the Yashiro Commission were fully aware of all the spooky stuff going on, but they still decided to hold their event here? But Ayato must be one of the smartest Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. As for my commission, apparently someone reported that they found themselves trapped for hours on the beach while playing the game. According to his own account, he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he went. And even though his friends were nearby, they couldn't see him. 
Even though it was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story, the testimonies of his friends did validate that what he said actually occurred. On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. No one dared to go near the beach until the Yashiro Commission announced the test of courage. Who set up the game on the beach? And why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it up? I need to uncover the truth, so I'm here to investigate. Anyway, don't mind me. Working together will only raise suspicion, so I'll undertake my own investigation for the time being. However, please proceed with caution. Based on my observations, most people are still unaware of anything happening here. Telling people that something's amiss might cause quite a stir. <laughs> 